This is the Cannabis Podcast on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. Here's a pack. Yes. There's the money. Right. Here's yeah. what happened. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. dead. It used to Check. be kind of <laughs> on the low. Yeah. Now it's like, well, why is he saying that? Well, that, they gave him fifty million dollars. Yeah. If you give me fifty million dollars, mm. I will never say anything bad about a plant again. <laughs> I'll I'll fight for that plant till I die. Right. If you give me fifty million dollars, of course. So yes. anything or if there's any rules that are passing to that are against that plant. I'm going to fight you. Yes. That's the world. Yeah. yeah. $50 million. Mm -hmm. And these politicians that are making $150,000 a year, some of them are putting $200 million of their own money in. I was like, whoa, how is this? I'm, I'm missing something. Where is this coming from? Yes. And, yeah, and then, yeah, and then yeah, cannabis yeah, yeah, went yeah. through the yeah. whole thing and it's going yeah. through, you know, you know, you yeah. know how that whole, that whole thing goes. Now you said we, when you're saying, when you say we, who has to go and bring this to the legislature? I mean, like, I can't do it. I mean, who is we? Sure, any anyone can can draft a, a piece of legislation to try and put in front of the Supreme Court to get onto the onto the ballot. Okay. So in order to do that, all you really have to do is get a lot of signatures. Okay. So to get the Supreme Court to look at it, you need about 120, 100,000, 120,000 signatures. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then they'll look at it and tell you if you can put it on the ballot or not. Then you need 900,000 more signatures. From around the state, yeah, so it costs you, you a little a bit. So you can you can pay for it. So, so you need a million signatures to so, get it on the ballot, right? And our, our friends TK Suites are doing the petitions. Shout out! So a million. <laughs> so Amendment Two got a million people. A million people signs the petition yeah. to get Amendment Two on the ballot. And the only way we got that, right. that, but you could put money John into Morgan. it. So yeah, John Morgan so made who, it happen. Yeah, he did. You know, mm. because he he came in with all the money. Yeah. yeah. You know, without that, you didn't. You know, he made that happen. Yeah. Without that, so, without him, that wouldn't have happened. Sure. Joe Redner is. I consider Joe Redner. Yeah. You know Joe Redner. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. I consider Joe a friend. I've known yeah. Joe for a long time. We had an time event and, at his uh, place. Yeah, just just a, almost a business confidant of mine. Mm -hmm. You know, people can say what they want about Joe Redner, but he's a serious businessman. Okay. Right. I only I know he owns Mons Venus, but he also owns everything else. Right. Yeah. You know? so yeah. 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 I've asked him. You know, yeah. uh, I've asked him a lot of things about a lot of different things in this mm -hmm. area, and when I had him on my my podcast, and I brought up John Morgan, and he he, he all of a sudden got vexed. Yes, <laughs> he was like, "That's." I was like, "Whoa!" whoa. I go, "I thought John Morgan was good for me." Right. That son of a bitch, just yeah. was making money. And listen, this is my thing, okay? If you're just making money, but you're helping the cause, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Because I think John Morgan still wants what's good for right. marijuana. Right, right, right. But. Daddy. Joe Renner's into it for a different thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's he's a ride or die type of guy. You know what I mean? Oh, I, and like John Morgan, is, I've had him in my house. I like John Morgan. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, Red, Renner didn't get one of the licenses <coughs> in the beginning. Bitter. He's probably bitter. And too. there were <laughs> right. there were verdict, and so his case against the state that he just they actually just found they just judged against them. Okay, his case was basically saying the law doesn't allow for vertical integration; it allows for horizontal integration because it says. Um, or like a, 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 a marijuana, an MMTC, a medical marijuana treatment center can uh, cultivate, process, or uh, distribute marijuana. Okay. And he's saying that that or means you can do any of them, either of them. Right. But they kind of changed it to an end mm. and made it into, mm. so that was their, the gist of their case. Okay. And they ruled against them and said that they couldn't have a license. So um, <clears throat> I understand exactly why, but Joe, Joe's, Joe's juicing cannabis to treat his, his cancer. Yeah, well, listen, Joe, you know? I've known Joe, mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to work at Extreme Gym, used to be on Howard. Mm -hmm. I taught spin there for 10 years. Oh, so so I worked for Joe pretty much at the gym. So I see him all the time. So I used to see him there. Then we went up to the Fight Factory. He owned it over there, which is next to uh, Cigar City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was one, I would see Joe, and I'd go, Joe, you all right, man? He goes, yeah, I caught cancer for the second time, and I'm fighting it. He was at the gym like, every day. Mm -hmm. And he was like, if it wasn't for marijuana, I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. And there was one time I saw him, 
And I looked to him, I go, Joe, what's up, man? He goes, ah, and I, and I, I went home at the time I was married. I go, I don't think I'm ever see Joe again. Mm -hmm. That was 15 years ago. Wow. wow. And now you see him and he's fit as a fiddle. Yeah. Right, yeah. And he's just, he's, he's, he's sharp. And the thing is that he's, he's taking it raw. He's juicing it. Yes. So that's not activated. It's not activated. Not activated. So it's not even getting him high. He's just getting the medical benefits from it. But he's always talked about butter and stuff like that. So yeah, I so think he probably he does, does edibles he does, too, he, he but he also does, juices yeah. it yeah. with that THCA. But that's, that's probably very all the good stuff. Itself, all the good too. stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And you've got to be a hardcore mm -hmm. cat because I bet that's harsh. Yeah. <laughs> that's harsh. Yeah. I, I, I would imagine so. And you probably need a lot of it too. <laughs> I would probably think so. Are you guys yeah. in the Kratom in the combo world? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, we yeah, enjoy we've, that. We had an event up in uh, Jacksonville at a place that was, uh, what was it called? Wild Crafters. Right. That was a kava bar. So yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah. And then we stopped by one over by us. And I never really, you know, I, I'd have some uh, Kratom before. I'm not really a big fan. Mm -hmm. um, but I've had the kava and it started to make my lips old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. It makes you like tingly, that, yeah. But that's just it. That's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. But it made me like, and I had two of them without realizing it was going to make me super relaxed. Yeah, it'll get you really, like, really right. chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty chill. Yeah. And, I, yeah. and I was at the chill room. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind perfect. of felt like I was fit right in. <laughs> perfect. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. kind of getting into the Kratom in the, in the cover thing. Um, we're going to start selling it here at the cafe soon. Very cool. So I'm just bouncing around and seeing you how everybody does it. You do a lot here, yeah? Yeah, we're trying. You know, I find that Kratom and kava and CBD and marijuana kind of inter Absolutely. interweave a little, yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, definitely, definitely. It seems like weed people are kind of... I think kind it's of a great kratom idea. Kratom kind of makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I take Kratom. Know? Yeah. Absolutely. It helps with pain for me. Well, that's the thing. I mean, yeah. it's an anti-inflammatory. <laughs> yeah. It's good for a lot. It doesn't taste great. No. <laughs> the, the kratom doesn't taste bad when you doctor it up a little bit. That kava's rough. Yes. That's yeah, rough. we actually had some last night. Yeah. Oh, you had some last night? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 The whole it was a double and... shell. Yeah. So yeah. it was a lot, yeah, a yeah. lot to take. <laughs> yeah, it's a, little bit, it's a little bit rough. But they were like um, adding like uh, fruity pebbles and like adding yeah, flavors to kind of yeah. spice it up a little bit, which <clears> I didn't have that, but I thought maybe that could be interesting. I really like what they do when they can make everybody like buy a shell and drink it. Yeah, like, so everyone like, drinks it together. Brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Nine bucks. It is. Exactly. It's at the same time. Yeah, right. Just like let's mm -hmm. just I, yeah. I, they do that i'm just like man that's how these places work yeah. <laughs> that's how they're that's able to stay in business 24 yeah. hours a day mm -hmm. i've been talking to people in that world yeah and uh you should see the numbers yeah yeah but nothing's nothing is marked up like that nothing i've never seen <laughs> anything nothing. i can't even imagine i can't even imagine <laughs> when we get off the air mm -hmm. i'll talk to you about yeah. to people because i'm going to start it oh, i'm going to sell it here so i can't well, let people yeah, know yeah yeah so you know we're I mean? actually yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't like, i don't want people to know what's actually really happening we but we will sell. have a good product though and you'll now. have a you'll have a little sales room now and absolutely, then. absolutely. <laughs> take care of you guys now the government the government was going through i don't, I don't know if it just they just went through uh, the government. They're talking about you know, restrictions on percentages of THC. I think you mm -hmm. brought that up yeah, earlier. 10%, yeah, ten percent. Yeah. In in, in Florida, mm -hmm. they were. It was supposed mm -hmm. to go through. Did it pass? I don't. I didn't really hear what happened. No, it did not. The percent, the THC cap. Yeah. No, it didn't go through, and the. I don't think it was ever meant to go through. Mm -hmm. I okay. think We think it was a distraction, distraction. because. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, there was a lot of other things in the legislature. There were two yeah. legalization bills, right? There was one, there was another bill that would have allowed for retail shops to open up and buy from dispensaries mm -hmm. and be able to open up retail shops. Mm -hmm. None of these got any kind of traction. Everybody was focused on then uh, the percent cap and, you know, sickle Colleen mentioned anemia. the, the sickle cell anemia Which as well. Some of my patients who were really not doing well with uh IV meds, like they were on them yeah. often in the hospital. I had one pass away, so it's definitely a need. No doubt for that. Yeah. So they they very... didn't they didn't pass this THC cap, but they um, the THC cap was never meant to pass. So when a, a while ago, Ron DeSantis, right, the governor mm -hmm. DeSantis said that we need to you know break up this vertical integration, right, in the state, right. He's that was right before said he was... that. Right, well, right when he said that we should allow smokable marijuana. Sure. But that was right before right. he was elected or right when he was elected? Right or? when he was elected. Right, right? when he was first elected. So we got yeah. smokable, but we never heard anything else about that. Mm -hmm. And I was at an event and there were several lawmakers there and they asked him the question, will we ever have horizontal integration? And they'll say no, because we need to protect the value of these licenses. Mm -hmm. 
So if they're protecting the value of the licenses, there's no way they're passing a 10% THC no, cap. No way. So once business. you know their real yeah. motivation, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, so, yeah. um, and I don't see a, a reason you would pass like, a, you know, THC caps like that anyway. You know, um, th there's really no evidence that, it, that a high THC does anything, you know, more or less to someone than lower THC. There's no, the blood serum levels, high sure. THC, low THC, sure. Doesn't matter. People yeah. are still getting the same effects. What is, okay, listen. I, I wasn't even that good at school, all right? I was good at sports. All right? <laughs> I have some street smarts. But I do know this. If you lower it too low, what's going to happen? People are going to go back to the streets. Oh, of yeah. Course. And then yes. it doesn't make sense. Right. People are going to take <clears throat> twice as much. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Right. Or they're going to go to the streets mm -hmm. and get the high percentage again. Right. Does anybody ever think that way, you think? Um, I, I, I do. That's what we, we were, we were afraid of that at first. I don't, that's we... why I don't think they were serious about it. I really, and the arguments you would hear this guy, Spencer Roach, come up with these arguments about like, this, Roach too. these, ins <laughs> Roach. <laughs> these insane, Roach. like things that, that were almost like these inflammatory statements that were so over the top <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> about high THC causing schizophrenia and stuff that it just made people that were marijuana people angry and like react yeah. Yeah. so it made you like stop the cap stop this guy and like yeah. don't look over here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and so it, yeah. i think it was all like uh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was all a dog and pony show yeah. just to try and get our attention away from they're sneaking something through the back door while we're looking at that that always happens that way yeah of course you know they yes. get us distracted mm -hmm. no doubt absolutely now nurse colleen are yes. you still a nurse I'm still a registered nurse. Okay. I'm still a licensed nurse. Um, I don't practice nursing. You don't practice? No. If you uh -huh. were practicing, you wouldn't be able to do this? Um, it's a, I guess it would depend on who I would work for. I could work with, for someone privately, and if okay. they didn't care that okay. I was a cannabis nurse, okay. then that could I work. About, I wondered about that. Yeah. You know, yeah. If you work for Tampa General Hospital, you probably they would do not. That. Well, I do know some nurses who were patients, and I don't know. I always recommend to go to the HR and ask them about CBD. Okay. Because you could test positive for THC if you're on CBD, because it's a very low amount. Okay. But people, if they're consuming enough CBD, they really? can, and it's a first, like the first test, and they can do like a more um, intensive. Sure analysis and mm -hmm. then that'll tell them that like how much is in there mm -hmm. but at first it could be like a false positive at first sure yeah so and what, I, do, what do you do for a living in life this is what we do for yeah, a living. this is what we do see that was gonna work yeah, I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna, that was gonna be my next question yeah. can you make a living doing this <laughs> and that you just answered my yeah. because I was going to say, have you ever thought about getting into the cannabis business, but you're in the cannabis business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. been doing this for, for some time. Like we were you know, discussing earlier, it's a lot of different things. It's mm -hmm. not just one thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, um, I, I guess my, my perspective is we try and educate people and provide people with some sort of value. Like okay. I'm obsessed with providing people a value. Mm -hmm. if, you're a, if you're a patient, we try and give education. If you're the dispensaries, mm -hmm. we try and bridge that gap between the patients because because the dispensaries don't have a lot of time or they're not financially incentivized really to educate the patients the way they need to be and the doctors definitely don't have well, time it's difficult there's to no do support that support staff like Correct. the right. nurses and the pharmacists usually educate the patients but Correct. here in cannabis there's not that so we try and, and as best we can bridge that gap um, and try and you know dispel the stigma to some to some degree as well um, but normalize it generally it's trying to provide value to people so that we have these events people come and they interact with you know and when they interact they start businesses they start you know friendships they start relationships there's relationships. all sorts of things that have come out of these events <laughs> exactly. over the years yeah. that are amazing to me and i'll look back and i'm like what? those people met at our event i can't mm. believe that you know yeah yeah it's so a, i also just took a position as um a cannabis instructor for florida gulf coast university they so have teaching a class. They have a cannabis oh, research awesome. certificate program. Well, that is awesome. Yeah. So you're going to teach a class <clears throat> to get a certificate, it's like a, a one semester. It's uh, four weeks long. Okay. Um, and they said when they first started the program back in 2018 that the clinics and the dispensaries were calling them for their graduates. Okay. So it's definitely a good idea for something you know, to go to get the knowledge and the connections. So what are you teaching them exactly? Edibles. You're teaching that's how? my portion there's four different weeks four different topics so you're teaching how to create edibles how, the basics behind edibles how they work in your body and how to make them and really what to do if they don't work what to do um take more 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but that's, I'm joking, by if the way. If you take too much, it's called <laughs> yeah. greening out. <clears throat> Have you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then how to, <laughs> like it. right, and then the steps yeah. to take to open your own, like, CBD edibles if you want yeah. to. Yeah. So, so. You're, you, you're good at making edibles, too? Um, I do. We have made quite a yeah. few. Yeah. I prefer to just take RSO and put it on a piece of food and just eat it that yeah, way because it's yeah. super easy. I don't really, really have the the time to plan well, you know, you're the gonna, edibles. You're, you're going to make them. You just don't yeah, yeah. do it but very we just often. Don't do it often. Um, I tried it once Yeah, and they had the texture of a hockey puck. <laughs> and I still tried to eat them. They I are, still yeah. tried to eat them. Oh, right. like, I'm it, them anyway. it, didn't work, it didn't work out well. Because right. I was saying I was joking when I said take more because I always like to tell people who aren't hip to edibles. Mm -hmm. Famous last words are I don't feel anything. <laughs> yep. I, yes. I, I, I let everybody know that. Don't do it. Uh -huh. I don't feel anything. I've seen it. I've been take another yes. one and a half hour yeah. later is bad. Yes. Yeah, bad. It's not people good. ask me not how good. to undo stuff. Yes, I used yeah. to get them. In, I used to make them in <laughs> college. When I was in college, I used to make these brownies, mm -hmm. and they would have big. They would have like little buds in them. You know? like, <laughs> like barely just put the buds, right? buds right It was like little buds <laughs> in them, <laughs> and I would them. I would have them on the table, and people would take one. I give them. The, I was just giving them away. So yeah. I would give them to the people, and they'd go down to the bar and they'd eat one. And, or no, they'd eat one and then they sit around for about ten minutes mm. and they're like, "This shit ain't working, man." Yeah. And then, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, have another one. Go ahead, take it." So they take it. They go down to the bar. <laughs> Twenty minutes later, they yeah. come walking in. They're on the couch. They're yeah. done. They're yeah, done. Yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. But the yeah. worst thing I would do is I would leave. I would wrap them up in like plastic wrap and put them in my sock drawer. And my socks, when I put them on in the morning, I'd be like, "Oh, brownies." <laughs> Every morning. So I would take it, I would start eating them. But by the time I was halfway through class, I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, right. Why am I super high all of a sudden? <laughs> I am happy. What happened? I didn't know we even called it. I'm happy. I'm happy I didn't know we even called yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, How'd you know what? Maybe, maybe I'd have been, be I would have enjoyed school more. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I didn't like school. Yeah. I it, didn't like it. It does help, like, focus and yeah. like, calm down. And Everybody around me was probably yeah. high. Probably. You Probably. Know? How old were you when you said you started? Uh, 35. 35, yeah. wow. wow. So, yeah. I mean, it was, you know, I finished playing ball when I was probably 32, yeah. and I kind of waited a little waited bit. Waited a little bit because I still <laughs> could maybe get back into it, you yeah. know? Yeah. And then finally, like a good buddy of mine I played ball with. And I, it's funny, I didn't know how many people were smoking. I didn't, I had no yeah. idea. Because I always tell people, they go, you, you would know, and I mm. go, I never know anybody's doing cocaine, but I know they're doing it around me. But you never know it because it's not my world. Right. Nobody lets you in a world that you're not a part of. Mm -hmm. So nobody let me in that world because I didn't smoke. I was a guy who didn't smoke. Right. You know, right. I was a guy when people called when they had to get the uh, clean pee. <laughs> I used to pee for guys. I had the cleanest pee. Well, you had to. Yeah, had, somebody but had to you had to, though, <laughs> before, you know, I, I can bring up a couple very well-known names. <laughs> Yo, Beck. I need some Hilarious. of that pee. And I, I got you, dog. You That's know what I mean? So funny. I should have sold it. I could have made some money. Yes. <laughs> that guy's got a lot more freaking money. You probably money. still... No, you can't anymore. <laughs> no, you probably, no, not anymore. No, you're smoking. I, I, the THC level uh, in my urine would so be funny. astronomically high. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> astronomically high. Like, I almost want to see yes. it. Because <laughs> I'm like... Like, I hear other people like, I took a gummy and I was all wasted. I'm like... <laughs> You're like barely. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. Like M and like yes. you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> yeah. But I, I, when I was watching your uh, your uh, webcast, mm -hmm. um, no, you call it a webcast. I don't know what to call it honestly. Really it's a show. podcast. It's a show. I just call yeah. it the yeah. show. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It, it was it's it's, everywhere. It's very clear the love you have for marijuana. You love it. I do. Like I like really, you, really you know, do. See, when she's done with the container. Yeah. I love the I was like, flavor. I've never seen that. I love everything. It's a that funny it does. story <laughs> is that that's what I that I've told her right that I fell in love was when, when I saw oh her. Oh my god, no. She was like throwing it away. No, you, I think you threw it away and I went and I grabbed it and I opened it and I was taking the crystal. I was like, I'm in love with this no, you She's can't. That's what I've been looking. <laughs> yeah. Oh so boy. I'm also the chairperson for Orlando Normal. Orlando. Orlando Normal. Normal. Okay. Normal is the uh, national organization, organization for reform, reform of marijuana laws. <laughs> of marijuana laws. <laughs> you marijuana probably, laws. Look at that. <laughs> probably write that down. I yeah. can't remember <laughs> it ever. No, I, I, I can't remember anything. Uh, and we did a Florida Field Day okay. this past May. And I wanted to bring awareness to wellness and health 
in cannabis. Okay. So it was a lot of fun. We had yeah, um, we had like field day games, sure. like you know, like a three legged race and potato sack yeah. races and Which stuff you have like to be that. For. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it was what great. it was. Yeah, but, yeah. But you know what's amazing is you know growing up, you know everybody thinks they know about everything, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, you smoke, you can't. We can just stop right there. You can do anything. You can smoke and do anything. Like I can, there's nothing I can't do. Yeah. There's nothing I can. First of all, I don't know if I'm ever really sober anymore. You feel like it's more than your normal, or exactly. like how, you should, how you should be. Like I don't ever really feel that high. I'll be honest. I just don't really feel high. Right. I just kind of feel like this is the way. You like myself. Tolerance. <laughs> and I have polycystic ovaries, so when I have my blood work done, my DHEA and my testosterone mm. is higher. Okay. And my doctor said, smoke more he marijuana. Did not, or because, she did not? Because it lowers testosterone oh, and DHEA. So, yeah. <laughs> we have a, we have a but it's true. Like, I get like. No, I, I get it. Yeah. And then it chills me out. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, you know, in this day and age, uh, still when we're hearing everybody talking, the, the negative part of it, I just feel like saying, first of all, just tr well, have you tried yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Or, I know. Or, or they'll say, like, yeah. yeah, I smoked once when I was 16. And I'm like, that mm. dirt weed that you smoked back in the day, that's crap. Okay? Who knows what that was. And yeah. now it's, it's compared to what it used to be. It's literally science now yeah. compa compared to the way it used to be. So, uh, you know, what my buddy said one time, you ever lift, he goes, you ever get high and lift weights? And I'm like, that is ludicrous. It doesn't make sense. He goes, try it. So I was like, you're, you're stupid. So one day, I'm, and I used to smoke, but not smoke and lip. Right. And one day I went and got high, yeah. as, high as giraffe punani. I'm going to walk <laughs> into the gym and I'm all by myself. And I, I had to catch myself. I was doing like tricep press downs for like an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you it, get like the in the zone and that's like, it. Like that is just <laughs> it. Yeah. This is the best. Yeah, yeah, it really is. The, yeah, and, yeah, goes, yeah, yeah. and then I yeah. spin and then I would get really, really high and mm -hmm. jump on a spin bike. This is the best thing ever. Yeah. I can hear yeah. every note of every yeah, song yeah, yeah. And, I'm, and, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, and I'm in it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm like the guy from Half Baked, you yeah. know, you ever do that on weed? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. There's certain yeah. things you just don't yeah, do just, not. Right. And then how many people don't work out like, because it's not fun? That's but what that makes it fun. Like, you know, it's and, like. Half the battle. Exactly. We almost went the other day without smoking first, and <laughs> I said stopped. it was. I said it's almost <laughs> like going without headphones. You need headphones. Yep. And you need to smoke before you go. I forgot my headphones the other day. Yeah. Miserable. It is miserable. It's so much you is going from, Like I try to do a good forty-five minutes on the stairmaster, or whatever. Ten minutes in, I'm like, what? Oh, I'm tired of myself. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm tired of myself. And all this noise around <laughs> here, like, saying. stop. Yeah. But then yeah. every little thing, you mm -hmm. know, it's it almost becomes too much. But you got the headphones on. You're in yeah. the little world. Zone, you're, right? yeah. you're zoning in and zoning out. Uh -huh. um, now, I want to say a little bit about the event that we have coming up at Pepin on the 710. Once again, you can go to Tampa Bay Canifest .com to purchase tickets. I think that's some VIP tickets. Uh, I will be DJing from noon to one, which is the VIP section. And uh, my girl, uh, Shannon, will be uh, DJing from one to four. So uh, my boy, uh, DJ Don Pablo, is coming here tonight, and we're kind of picking out uh, weed-centric music. Nice. Very when you cool. think weed music, what do you think? What uh, comes the, to mind? The, the soundtrack to Half Baked. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've watched the movie a hundred times, but I don't know if I, I can think of any music, though. Oh really? I can't think of off the top of my head like the movie Friday. I can think of Friday, that music, yeah, yeah. But half baked, I can't really. Th I, I probably know all the all the music, <laughs> and it's probably going to end up in it anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see Bob Marley. And, I mean, so Bob Marley. I yeah. actually went to his house where he grew up in uh, Jamaica. Did you really? Yeah, and he was still buried there at the time. He's really? since been moved, but with my brother. Been powerful, huh? Yeah, I went. We went on a cruise with the family, and my older brother and I went. Really? And it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. very moving. I've always said uh, if. I ever heard anybody say I don't like Bob Marley? I'm, yeah. I'm done. Yeah. And we're not going <laughs> to. We're not going to. Or Jimi Hendrix. We're not gonna I don't yes. think I've ever heard anybody yeah. say that. Yeah. I haven't either, though. <laughs> like, I, like, like, I don't really like Bruce Springsteen. But I've heard other people say that, though. I've never heard anybody say I don't like Bob Marley. Yeah, me yeah, neither. No. I don't think I've ever Jimmy heard yeah. I've heard people say I don't like the Beatles. I heard a lot of people I, say I don't I, like the, the Beatles. Day, I was like, you know, the Beatles, what does that mean? <laughs> but, I mean, you don't have to love their music, but respect it. Yeah. yeah, yeah there absolutely. was a time when they were number one, two, yeah. three, four, five, and six on the charts. Right. Yeah. So respect the Beatles, you yes. know what I mean? Yeah. And then they had offshoots, the and, you, know, you know, the whole thing, you know yeah. what I mean? But uh, yeah, uh, TampaBayCanifest.com if you guys want the tickets. And uh, it's going to be a festive time. We don't like to take ourselves too serious. 
right. we're trying to keep everything loose and uh it's all like what you guys you see the same you see the same way yeah you, know, you, know, you wake up in the morning you get all blooded up yeah <laughs> in front of everybody <laughs> and you guys First treat, thing in the morning every morning everybody always tells me that i'm creating fun you guys created fun thank you you know what i mean you created something that you love to do you wake up in the morning you guys probably are eager to wake up in the morning and get that smoke and <laughs> lick, the, I am. Lick, lick the containers. You know, <laughs> he's, he's a morning person more than I am. I'm not a morning person oh, at I'm all. I'm a big time morning person. Are you? Oh yeah, I'm up at yeah. four usually. Really? Yeah, wow. So we get up at like five, five thirty. Yeah, we get up early and yeah, go through the stories. Right. And, yeah. But you always seem the first one ready to go. He's always the one that kind of straggles. Yeah, away. it's because yeah, I'm getting but, all the cameras on. <laughs> that's oh, not really the case. <laughs> that's why this is so great. I don't have to do anything. Yeah. So it's you awesome. have to do all the work, and she just has to look cute and then smoke. Yeah, that's about yeah. the way. It is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah. So we say that the theme of our show is I try and do the news <laughs> yeah. and do education yeah. while yeah. I, Colleen tries <laughs> to distract me. Okay. Okay. My purpose. Is to <laughs> it makes it a little more entertaining than just watching the news, right? Well, I, mean, I find it entertaining. Uh, I caught that though. I Thank caught. you. Isn't that funny? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's fun, though. And I try to do the same thing. Every, everything I create seems to have marijuana uh, or food. Yeah. It's about it. Yeah. 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 Really good. Yeah. The rest of it, everything else kind of happens around it. Right. But if I have marijuana and good food. Yeah. Music good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started it to um, help me. educate people because we were doing the events and just to keep in touch and educate about our events and the newest topics. We were looking them up ourselves. Um, but it's a great way for people to come and network every morning. Absolutely. The, you know, comments mm -hmm. and communication, and we've come like a, become like a family. Absolutely. Well, yeah. you guys are doing great things. Congratulations on your Thank success. You. Uh, Thank you. I, I think I messaged you one time. I think I said, like, I'm not creepy, but I would love to get you on my podcast. Yeah, so yeah, you, guys, yeah. you guys would be great. And, That's awesome. Uh, so it's good that we finally linked, linked up. And uh, uh, you guys should check them out on Instagram, uh, 710 Morning Show. Uh, I, like, I like to check them out. Uh, just about every day I think I see you on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like I said, awesome. you guys have a, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Your event will be Thursday. Yep. At where is it again? Barry House Beer Company in Ybor City, seven o'clock. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And make sure you're going to be at the uh, our Canna Fest, which is uh, this seven ten. Okay, it's at Pepin Hospitality. Go to Tampa Bay Fest dot com for your tickets. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a wonderful week and get out there and smoke or ingest some delicious. I know I will. Awesome. Peace out. For more information on medical cannabis, make sure to follow Ian Beckles on Twitter at Ian Beckles. This has been the Cannabis Podcast on Radio Influence.